Hello everyone. Um, I would like to extend my my you know sincere appreciations and thanks to the subscribers and uh, the viewers of my YouTube channel. Thank you for you know uh, spending your time watching my videos. Um, I hope I every time I I, I, I post a video, uh, my my intention and you know my hope is to you know share something important that you know surrounds my my personal uh, activities. Because uh, my channel is, is all about my personal, um, my personal life, um, the activities, the activities that I have from my office until going home. Um, because in, in, in my, in my, um, when 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 I go home, I, I I did a lot of you know, um, I have so many koi uh, fish and I have mushroom. I have a level one uh, queen, right? So I have dogs, I have bantam chicken, I even have a solar plants and so on and so forth. So I have a lot of sidelines and uh, those are my you know anti-stress you know activities and and uh, after after work. So today um oh, I would like to share uh, the programming thing, C programming, okay, and. Um, um, and I'd like to share what if you're going to you know to, to, to run a program wherein your program will, will accept a value from the keyboard while your program is running no? you're trying to take input from from the user no? while uh, your program is on its way of you know executing right? so here um, um, I would like to to you know to to introduce another statement in C programming language, and uh, we call this one as uh, scandiff, right? So when you are going to use scandiff, uh, you are good as you're taking input from the user. Right? So and uh, for you know for the syntax, okay, for the syntax. Um, it's here. I mean, when I say syntax, I, I am, you know, I am referring to language, no? language of C. Syntax is when you are to use scanf and for you to, you know, to have a a common understanding with your PC or laptops and the C language itself. So you have to follow rules. No? You have to follow rules. No? Scanf. Try to try, try to check my screen, right? Scanf. Then uh, semicolon. That's part of the syntax. Then the open and close parenthesis also is part of the syntax and the word scanf also. And then followed by well, the data type. Uh, in my previous video, I, I, I said that uh, we'll try to focus first on the three major data types of C programming language. The integer or int, the character or car, and the float or the, the real values. Though. Those are data types. And then followed by comma, still part of the syntax. And then the ampersand. Ampersand is actually a thing that enables your program to store value from your variable. So that's it. This is the syntax of a scanner. So for example, if you are going to create a program that will ask for uh, your age, for example, and uh, it happens that uh, your variable is age also, so you can say in the age right and then next is scan a semicolon right now for the data type it's what present d you know okay integer my uh, age is being declared as integer then followed by ampersand and your variable okay but then in in, in my case when i when i do programming um, i used to um, i tend to be you know uh, as much as possible your program must be a user's friendly program so I'd love to have this kind of lines okay so instead of just directly asking for your age so um, I'd love to, 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 to inform the user that I am in need of enter your your age huh? that's it and then what's next is the scanner alright so that's it Data type, 
comma, then ampersand, age. So that when you have this ampersand, okay, you're trying to to store whatever value coming from the user. Okay. For example, in for a user of 20, with that ampersand, you are storing 20 to your variable age. No? Scan if enables your program to ask live from the keyboard. Hey, give me a certain value. And whatever value is that, store it to a thing or variable next to this ampersand. No? So anything lacking, like for example, marot spelling and scan if, or walay double quote, or walay data type, or walay ampersand, or walay comma, do not run. Okay? So, uh, this is a, an additional C programming statement for my for my video, and uh, I will be giving a live example today for for you to to, to understand and digest the, the functionality of um, uh, scan if statement in C programming language. Say for example, when you say design a program, okay, to ask for two values. By the way, you can remember on our uh, video that uh, I, I, I did or we did compute the value of A and B and stored it to a variable total. Okay, So similar to this, but then instead of just assigning directly the value of 20 and 50, atong button is will ask from the user. Okay, So this is it. Design a program to ask for two values and get the sum okay display the sorry display the result okay so if we are to create program on this what na to is the the preprocessor part okay is the dio.h right and then in main your 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 main function Okay, are you following? And then um, in A, we have to declare at least uh, three three variables because we need to get two values. So for these two values, we need to have two variables. And then from these two variables, we are going to compute the sum. So we'll be using total. Right? So here, um, the friendly way of doing programs, I don't be explained again here. Uh, I need to, to inform the user to enter first value, okay? And then um, followed by the new introduced statement scanner. Now, since my first, my variable, variable three variables are being declared as integers, I need to have Person T as my data placeholder, right? Or data types. And then person A, right? Because I'm using A, B, and, and total, right? So whatever value from the keyboard or from the user that will be stored directly to, to A. And then followed by the next one. Actually, same line of lines of instruction. But then this time, second value Okay, and here, um, actually somewhat similar, but then there is this uh, variation in terms of the variable. Okay. So this time, we are trying to ask value, second value from the keyboard and B is stored at variable B, okay? And after that, um, uh, we'll compute for the sum, A is equal to B. You're following okay. okay so whatever is the result of the b plus b that will be stored to sum then you can say print it because the problem says what display the result all right so to display the result we will be using what uh, print it uh here percent d plus percent d um, is equal to percent b and a b total looks familiar right this the same actually the same program the same the same problem but then this time 
we're trying to ask value from the given. Previously, we're just directly storing any value, 20 and 52, A and B, and then get the, get the program. Okay. And of course, to terminate the program, we have to say turn to zero. So I think this is correct. Okay, this is correct. Right. So atong atong i atong tanaw mo na Okay. So here I um I, I I did search what um online compiler C compiler and I I I, I have this one. So once again, the program include uh, can you see the, the program? It's a little bit smaller. Delete the 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 pitch, and then um, int main right curly brackets for a flag, and we will try to declare the three variables a, b, and total right. Okay, so the next one is printf right, and then enter first value. You're gonna remember. Then scan it. Right. Um. Percent D for our data type, and ampersand for us to store the value of A. Second is similar, but then this time we'll be asking for the second value. Get it? And then. Scan it also, right? Data placeholder for D because we declared B as integer percent D. Now here, uh, we can now get the sum A plus B, and the problem says display what the result. So does that percent D? Plus percent D plus percent D. Are you following? Huh? Am I am I too fast or okay lang? And then store your A, your B, and your total respectively. Right? And to, ter to terminate this program, turn a zero. Here. Look at this. This is one. This is indeed of a C program because this is what a, pro a C program must start with a, a preprocessor, you know, declaration, and we're trying to use this the, the standard input output that each uh, header file or library for us to to be allowed to use printf and scanf. Mm -hmm. And uh, here the curly brackets uh, demarcates boundaries. And whatever lines in between the curly brackets, the open and close curly brackets are actually lines of instructions that C compiler will tend to interpret and execute, right? And make it sure na sa imong mga lines of sentences or commands or statements, you're following the syntax or the formats, okay? So, huh. <laughs> and here, I, 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 I declared three variables. Because the problem says uh, your program must ask for two values. So A and B are actually variables for two values. And then the program says that you have to compute for the sum. So I, I, I did use total as my variable. And uh, that's why I, I have three, A, B, and total. And then here, um, I use printf and scanf. Actually, I can, only, I can, I can use scanf only. And it will still ask for the value, but then I, I'd love to tell first the user to, you know, the program is in need of first value. The program is in need of second value. So user's friendly program, right? So, um, here the formula to get the sum and then display. I did have, again, three data types or data placeholder for my three variables, A, B, and total. And then, okay. So I'm done with this program. Let's try to check if it will run. Right. Are you ready? Okay. So here, click run. Let's see what's next. Oh, 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 oh. It's compiling. And here, now it runs. Okay. 
So our program now, this is now the screen output. Okay? Our program now is asking for what? Enter first value. So this is actually the result of the printf. And that blinking bar there is actually the result of scanf. The program is waiting for a value. So if we are to encode 20, I'm sorry. If we are to encode 20, I'm sorry, 20 and enter, it goes down and ask for the second value. Okay, the second group of uh, print and scanning. So if you are to put 50 and enter, then our program computes for the sum 20 plus 50 is equal to 70. Okay, this is the screen output. Now we'll try to 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 run it again. Okay, try to run it again. Let's see. Run. Okay. Run. Then our program is asking for three values. We'll say 900. Okay. And then our second value is 78. Are you following? Enter. 900 plus 78 is equal to 907. So, in this particular example, and by, by way of using scan, uh, it's a little bit flexible compared to the first video. Uh, we, we just assign directly the 20 and 50. Uh, every time we, 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 we tend to execute the program, it's always 70 as the screen output. But in this particular example, um, depending as a user, if I, I, I need to, to input smaller values or large, bigger values, then the program will still will still uh, uh, run and execute okay so we'll try to uh, we'll try to 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 eliminate this uh, printf statement okay what will happen okay so run so it's here huh? Our program is asking for a value but it doesn't have any comments or what messages right so when I say 900 by following I press enter again it will ask for another value so we go 78 enter then it will compute for 78 900 plus 78 and still 978 so that's that's why I, uh, like I said a while ago uh, when, when I when I do program you say programming then I need to use you know printf para and program not, not to is what say users okay. by the way the, the two box last there uh, converts my printf statement into a comment and that's why when, when I run the program it, well, well as a matagat so it's a comment okay one way of one uh, you know uh, uh, converting a line of instructions into a non-functional line okay so um, I, I'd love to run it again Let's see. Okay, so for example, I uh, I'll say nine eight hundred ninety and press enter K and five hundred sixty. Right, press enter K. So the result is eight ninety plus five sixty is fourteen. Uh, one thousand four hundred fifty. Okay, so correct. Do we need to do we need to have another example? Okay, right. We did, no? Say for example, uh, here, uh, design a program to ask for instead of two values, we'll make it three. Meaning we need to have three scanner. And get the sum. We did. And the product of the three values. And display the result. Right? So, what's up with that one? So we'll add here, right? So we'll add the third C and your uh, product. Get it? So, are you following? Huh? So I need to have A, B, and C for, for the three values that the program demands. And I need another two variables the product and total for the result 
Um, by the way, I, I, I can even use this one. I can I can convert this to X. Figure it out. And Y, no problem because that, that's a user's friendly. Uh, I, know, I mean, user's uh, uh, defined. Fun. You can supply anything for as long as you're trying to follow the guidelines of you know using identifiers or variables, right? So here, uh, enter first value, enter second value. Ato na lang ng sumpayan o print if okay. Enter third value. Okay, same <coughs> same uh, programming style. Scan it. Oh, sorry. Scan it. Um, person D, right? And then a percent C. So here, uh, the next line instead of total, right? We change it to Y. So in here, um, we did not have a plus percent D because we we have three values now. Okay. So here, instead of saying E B, we will C, and then instead of total, we'll have X. Right. And for the product, you can say print if um uh, wait a minute, double um code print if um percent d times okay, okay we're getting the product number percent d are you following is equal to then your y right your uh i uh, know not y but percent d and then comma supply value from your y ah uh, no yeah y so in here so here this is x and this must be plus c are you following and for y i need to uh, y is equal to oh uh, some you know structure program way uh, v times c so i have now the formula for x to get the sum and the total and i have formula for y to get the product of the three yeah okay so we'll try to 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 we'll have this one on the compiler here um we'll try to what this is c right then x and y are you following and here we ne i need to what? for the third value please follow okay. uh, enter third value okay and instead of saying total you can see x okay and add the third value which is placed in in c and uh i'm sorry uh, by the way the spaces in between these are actually white space in pro white spaces in programming and uh you can either put some spaces or wala okay but in my case i i i, I love having this you know uh, structured way of doing things okay must limp you okay so here my x here is actually for the total and my y here is for the product of the three so in here i need to add another data placeholder because i have three values now and in here i need to have c and instead of total i need to what x Aha. and here I need to display the product so the product is what d times uh, percent d um, times percent d right is equal to percent d and uh, i need to supply this three and instead of x i need to have y because this is for the product i hope it will run We'll try. Click run. Are you following? So I have now how many? Uh, three sets of printf and scanning. The first one is for the first value. Right? The second one is for the second value. I did use B 
And then the third one is no, I'm sorry. I need to have scanner. Okay. Um, here. Data placeholder. Comma ampersand for us to save whatever value from the user to variable C. So the third one is for the third value, which is whatever is that will be placed to variable C. And C is declared as an integer. <clears throat> and here are actually two formulas. The first one is for the sum, and the second one is for the product. And here, another two series of print statements. The first one is to display the sum, and then the second one is to display the product. I did use how many placeholders? Three, four, ah no, four. Uh, the first three is for A, B, and C, and then the, the last D after equal sign is for what? There's all, right? So when I am going to click run, so... This is it. Okay. The program now is asking for the first value. So, for example, uh, I have to include 4. When I press enter K, it will ask again for the second value. So, when I see 2, when I press enter K, it then asks for the third one. When I see, uh, let's say, 3, when I press enter K, then it displays the result. Oh, I'm sorry. Zoom by the zoom by okay. There's something uh, not a problem, not a, not an error because we we, we follow the syntax. But uh, here, I need to you know to put some backslash in. You can remember, okay? Backslash in means what? Next time. And here, magbutan lang butang backslash in just to, to have some you know some some spaces in between or right after the three the three the three values that being asked okay so we'll run the program again i hope you're, you're following okay so here uh how much is that four and then say two and for the third one say three you're following when i present k it's here so there's a blank in here because of the backslash in. Oh, magtupong. I will will turn. So the first formula is for the, sa, the the total, and the second is for the product. Okay. Four plus two plus three is what's the nine. Four times two times three is equal to. I will try try to you know have some some alignment in here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So run again. Um, if say for example um, 6 5 um, 8 let's say 10 okay when I press enter K this place there's all 6 plus 8 plus 10 6 times 8 plus times 10 okay so I I, I, I hope um I hope uh, I, I made it clear as to the technicalities of scanf, a command that will tend to ask value from the user, and then you can I, you can then manipulate whatever is that value being fed in by the user. Huh. I'm done discussing scanf. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope uh, you're still willing to watch for another video. And uh, of course, another uh, safe statement uh, soon. Okay, thank you so much. Um, God bless us. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much.